Hey guys and welcome back to Factorio with Moons of Mine. Yeah, we're doing two episodes in one day. I felt like we didn't get much done in the first... Well, we got a bit done, but we didn't get anything machine-wise done in the first episode. Now, between episodes, we did research logistics. I thought I was going to need it for something, but then I fixed it without it. But yeah, I'll show you that research now if I go down to it. It's there, actually. Logistics unlocks these underground belts, which are belts that go underground, and splitter belts, which we will get into later, and fast inserters. I'll explain them all as we use them. So you've got belts like this. If I tried doing a belt up this way, if I wanted to go this way with a belt, it would just change the direction of that one. So you can't do cross sections of belts like that unless you use underground. Now, this is where we had the problem here, was because the coal backed up on one side, not the other. So what we did was we've put a belt on this side here and a belt there so if I have a belt going that direction this direction and this direction it creates this kind of junction here for the belts to merge so yeah that's what we did there this has been cranking us out a bit of research we've got is that 58 yes yeah, 58 quite a few in there ready and that's good because we do need it for this one here which is the next research and the next so much research we need so much of this stuff it's unreal uh, actually I'm gonna click this one for science oh did not mean to take all of that copper thank you I'm gonna throw that in uh, we need the lights we need light right guys the plans are for this episode anyway tear all this up sure it's getting as coal and iron but we've got plenty we're gonna tear it up and we're gonna put it all to use these. I'm gonna have iron ore on there, that's great. I'm gonna have to pick those up. You just see them laying on the floor. These few bits of iron, there we go. Remind me to take the miners first, that might help. Yeah, definitely. Now, what I am gonna do, actually, whilst I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go in here and make a chest. And I'm going to place one of these miners down. Burner miners are not useful after you've got power. They're just not. One of these down. I'm just going to do this in this funny shape like so. Place the chest in the middle. Grab some of this abundance of coal we've got. Boom. And then it's just going to fill that with stone for us. Because we need it for these furnaces. Hurry up, Moons. Okay. Now what you can do is you can, if you hover over things like this, transport belts, which you're going to use an absolute buttload of, uh, if you middle click, it'll create them as blue. Now if I run out of these transport belts, that is just going to stay there and the only thing that can ever go there is transport belts. So I'm going to make one of these and one of these, it's going to take it a little bit, if I click blue on that one. This is just so that later on it's easier for me, I can just go pick up a few, get it done. Oh, wow, we have got quite a bit of iron in there already. And click on that one as well. Okay, Moons? Yeah. Um, is there enough iron in there for you to make like a mining drill? I've got four already. Four already? Yeah, and I can make 12. Okay, that's plenty. <laughs> um, I'm going to hold shift as I place these. So you can kind of see it's ghost image. I've still got the item, don't click them yet. But it's ghosting so moons can see where we want them. We don't want them there. So if I just right click and right click, it's not going to place there. You really, you're better off sticking right to the edge of the ore. I know it's not a lot. There, it's only 11,000. It says expect your resources 11,000. But it gets it out of the way a bit better than just leaving it empty. And we do want it to fill up on both sides of the belt. Do you reckon four, six or eight moons? Okay. Right, I tell you what, we'll do we'll do eight for iron for now. Yeah? And then we'll get some for copper as well down here. Um there. This one here, we'll do six. You do you won't even need a third of the iron amount in copper. So as much iron as you need, you can need a lot less in copper for a while. I'm gonna need some more transport belts. Yeah, making these things by hand takes so much time. You, 
once you get it all set up properly and you've got machines making it all for you it's better lamps oh gosh they're gonna be a godsend Ooh, another thing 10 power poles you can get bigger power poles we just don't have them yet <laughs> we're not that far in got a lot of machines to work with already though and I'm sure some people are gonna be confused by some of this if they've never played before if you have and you're like noobs then that's fine as long as you think that as long as you know but more than us I'm happy with that take these throw them in there 73 hmm I could research a submachine gun if you'd like moons you said you wanted more weaponry or I should carry on with electronics so we get work our way towards the automation 2 machines what we're gonna need okay I'll do electronics thanks to you and bot I don't know I don't know great and bot she's fantastic to play with when we're not recording honestly <laughs> Because I'm ghost imaging, I can go right to the edge of the screen and put the items down as a ghost. But if I was just trying to place it, it wouldn't let me. If I was like trying to place here, won't let you. You can only place, I believe that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks away from you, six spaces. And then you can only do it so many diagonally, that's weird. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, they're going to need power balls, aren't they? I throw one there. Got to make sure it catches them as well as catches that one there. And then it's just this front one here that's not going to. There we go. There. And then I just got to bring it across. Where is the power? There's the power. Remember, that's just a temporary setup. Oh, what a horrible, horrible chain. Oh, no. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, that'll do me. Got rid of my high. <laughs> oh, look at that. You missed a belt. Where? There. It's already backing up in I know how great is that that means we need to set up an area already moons for furnaces so if we have two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then I'm gonna need some arms so I'm gonna make one of these now I'm doing ghosts and we can plan ahead of time and so we're not like ripping items up you know what I mean a moons. Yeah. So we need one arm pulling off a belt where the oars are going to go into. And then one arm pulling the plates out onto another belt. Uh, we do need miners on coal as well for this moons. I just remembered. Brain fart or what. Now this is not going to be... We're not designing our entire factory like this. This is literally a setup design so we can get going uh, once we have better resources. I'm going to make it look a lot nicer than this. Oof, oh, God, it looks so horrible with that. So. Hmm. I want the coal to come in here. Then I want furnaces on this side for the copper. This side for the copper. I'm guessing you went and grabbed some of the stone out of the stone miners. Yeah. 11, 12. Yeah, it's a lot of ghost images, I know, guys. Oh, not there, thank you. I don't know why I'm moving whilst I do this. Hey, just, just chatting to yourself. Yeah. Like so. I think I'm gonna do this here, this here, down here. This might be wrong already. It is. Um, it needs to be there. I think at least. Oh. 
down. That was if I do it properly. Like so. So now we've got belts going in both directions. And that's where these splitter belts come in. Because they will split their input into these two directions. And we want okay. Like so. That's gonna have to be that's gonna be how it's gonna have to be for now until I figure this out. And then these can only go certain lengths. These underground cables can only go four at max. So yeah, they won't go any further than that. Uh, the next setup, because you can get better belts than these. These are slow belts. You can get much better ones than these. And they gr go at six, I believe. Could be wrong. Right, see these belts here, Moons? This one here is iron. Yeah? Yeah. And this one here is copper. It's just this underground belt here is going to be for coal. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So if I place this splitter here, and then I'm going to make another splitter. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. It's just the iron's already nearly set up. No, it's not the right way. Um... Let's get rid of that and put it there, a little nicer there. Like that. Oh, why did you go there? Thank you. There we go. And now all that iron will only go on this side of the belt because that's the only input side that it's taking and then on this side we're going to have coal so that our arms can grab the iron and the coal and put it in to these furnaces and then pull it out onto that one that I've run out of belts for you use so many resources for this thing it's unreal and this is just a tiny one hey moons Right, do we have, how much do you reckon? I'll make five, yeah, I'll make five. There, one, two, three. We probably need to up the power supply. Definitely gonna need to up the power supply. So this means that this will go under that bell and into there. Now this is already starting to look a bit spaghettified, but that's fine. <laughs> we will deal with all of that later on when we can. Well, I can just do that and that, and then just connect it somewhere nice, like so. And then it just, oh, thank you, nearly done. Oh, that took some time to research. Oh, it's because we only got the one lab doing it, of course. Where on earth did you get iron from? <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Okay. There's iron here. There's iron there. Yes. Oh, that is terrible. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to make one of these guys. It's gonna cost us a bit as well for that. Oh my gosh. Right. Um. I'm glad I grabbed that before that went through. Right, we need to make sure all of these can get power, so we're going to need one there. How are you doing that? Okay. Putting the power poles in. You missed one. Yeah, it needs to go there. You have to kind of overlap it a bit. You'll have to do the same on this side. But it leaves a space between each rear light. Will you put a light down? Can't place it where you stood. I, I've talked to myself there, by the way. <laughs> right, filter inserter. This thing here, it will pick items up and put them where you want them to go. Now you can use it on machines, robots, whatever. I'm going to do it for... Where are we? There we are, iron ore. Now, anytime iron ore comes down here, 
because that would mess up our system completely it's going to pick it up because yeah I can't get rid of these miners just because it's a bit of iron I didn't think I'd want to go into that for now oh gosh just having that little sliver of iron in that coal is a pain but it's going to pick it up and as you can see now it's picking up the coal it's picking up the iron filling these furnaces and we're getting iron plates all along with side moons beautiful so we've got a nice row of iron in there uh, we just need to get this side set up now for uh, copper brain went dead again oh, I need more belts oh I'm out of iron Ooh. Well, iron oh, okay um let me just um I have like a butt load of coal on me just throw it in these <laughs> I've got iron ore as well throw that in there I've got copper I'm just, I'm just gonna throw that in there <laughs> right I'm still gonna need some more belts so for the copper mine that's down here that's not been set up oh do you have the other six miners moons no Okay, how's our power supply doing? Well, we're fine for now. Fine for now. You haven't made any. Slacking. Ooh, what's with the frames? I am down to 20 frames. I don't know. That is really low. What on earth? Here. You got any more belts, Moons? Are you making the iron things, the miners? Okay, five, six. I'll make the miners and then I'll make some belts. <laughs> now we have still got our very basic red uh, science factory up here. It's probably run out of copper. Okay, that's. Wouldn't expect I'd have expected iron first, but okay. We're in our copper, that's strange. Oh, 16 more red science in there. We've got 59, 60 to research with. So, what else do we need? Ah, this one. Oh, we need 80 to get that one. Hmm, I think we'll be fine for now. We haven't discovered any nasty bases or monsters anywhere, have we? See, our, our radar is also scanning chunks around, as you can see. It will scan this one next, I believe. Possibly. No? I'll go find it. One sec. Where's the radar? Here. Sector scanning in progress. So, as that works, it will be scanning the map. And it will be unveiling new squares for us over time. So, we'll be able to see further and further out. We won't be able to see properly, though. If I zoom in on this, it's just going to be fuzzy no matter what. If I zoom in on this, you can see. So yeah. Oh, this is such a spider web's nest of things again. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I've got the miners done. Just get these put down. In. Get that in there. I'm gonna figure out what's killing my FPS. Something is. I'm not doing anything on here to make it be. Could be the heat. It's been a very hot day here today. So that could be the problem, but I doubt it. At least I hope not, because it's not a good sign if the heat's getting to it. Oh, I could. Let me put one in here. There. And here comes the copper moons. There we go. Copper and iron getting mined for us automatically without the use of coal. <laughs> and it should hopefully, once it comes up, start going on this belt and smelting. I guess I didn't need that one there. I did. I did need that one there. I'm such a pleb. I'm such a pleb. Right, what well, I'm going to have to do is pick all this up now because that's going to bog me like mad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
don't trust me with things. Seriously, don't trust me. <laughs> Go on, get in there. Alright. Wonder how the ghost image was affecting that track. That's strange. I've never known it to. Unless it wasn't a ghost and I actually picked it up. It probably wasn't, knowing me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just having one of those brain fart moments, I think. But yeah, we've got a nice belt now with items. Uh, we've got these filling up with iron there. But we've still got resources in the chest to use to start these things. Are you okay, Moons? Yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be... This is a start of our factory, actual factory. We have automation of smelting these. So what we do need to work on now is automatically making this science pack one and hopefully science pack two, because all of these are very simple to make. <laughs> I say that with a pinch of salt because I know something is, something's gonna go wrong. Always does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this on there and we're going to research this automation 2 gives us access to assembling machine 2 so if i research that all right so these assembly machines i remove that for a second they can only craft two item craft products so anything such as let's say this electric mining drill they can't make because it takes three items to make the item itself so they can't craft it for us so if we want to automatically make green science, we need to make inserters. Uh, transport belt's fine. Iron plate, iron gear wheel, easy. But the inserter takes an electronic circuit, an iron gear wheel, and iron plate. So it takes three things to make. So that's why we can't do it. Throw them in there. I swear I told it to make them. Thank you. Oh, right, that was probably in my inventory. Lost track of space. Where was then? You're making it all pretty moons, even though we're going to be tearing half of it off at some point. Lighting it up. So we can see. Yeah. yeah, you can see me, guys. I'm actually not dark and, yeah, I'm yellow, though. What was the command? Was it slash player purple? I'm not sure. I can't, I can't even spell purple. <laughs> nope. I'll find the command. I've got to change my colour, though. I do not want yellow. I want to be purple. Got to be purple. <laughs> She's attacking the window again. Yeah. Now, what we could do, actually, with what we've got here now, a good way to end this episode, would be to stop these. So if I take all this, 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 get rid of you. Thank you. No, Mr. Arm. Grab them. Oh, my pick broke. Grab this. You'll find that you need a lot of these tools. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll leave that to keep running because it's doing now research for us. So, let's bring this out just a bit so we've got room to expand on this. I could put a factory there and here. I could do this, I'm not going to. But we could have it where we did iron gear wheel and have it where we also did the red science there. Now if I set an arm to pull off of there, it'll pull all the iron off, I'll show you now. Just actually I need the power in that might help. It just grab the iron, it won't touch the copper at all. So it's smart enough to know what it needs to grab and what it doesn't need to grab. And then if I did something like this it still grab it out of there and this would also just grab the copper off of there so yeah you could still do it that way but we don't want to do that I'm going to grab this, this, this I want to do it a different way because we're going to be using those iron gears to make these as well electronic circuits so I would like to have hmm I might need to leave space for it probably gonna need leaves ah no nah what we'll do is we'll put one and do this nah 
put it there and we'll have it pulling it off and then pulling out here I don't know actually I'm gonna get back to you on that one guys I want to set this up properly and to do that I'm gonna have to wait for this research to get it all done and set up properly okay, I'll make five of them make a few of them get all these making whilst we're waiting for that and I'm probably out of oh my low one something copper no iron yeah iron So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode as well, guys. There won't be another one today after this one. I think we've done a fair bit already. We're not fantastically far in. And if this was a speed run, we'd have already failed. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we've got ourselves some automation going, some automatic things cooking. We have some lights so you can actually see us at the night time. And yeah, we've got our power being used. So that's fantastic. Uh, you put more steam engines in, don't you? Or is that me? No? It's not me, but I've just been making a few bits up in the chest. A few bits up in the chest? Yeah. Which chest? Some drills, um, oh, okay. Bells. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I've got some. I don't know why I threw the burner ones in there. And some chests. Yeah, guys, uh, that's definitely going to be it for today's episode. If you're enjoying this series, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you're new to Factorio and you want some more info that I could probably help with, ask below in the comments because if I can't help you, I'm sure someone else watching will be able to. And I do look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Take care, guys, now. Bye-bye.